and welcome or welcome back to another episode of One Love One Africa and also my Pan African Think Tank. In today's episode, I wanted to talk about something that that, that truly should be powerful, but it seems like it's not. Things are not clicking. We're here to talk about the African Free Trade Agreement. W- what is going on? <laughs> like, what is going on? So that is what I'll be talking about in this episode. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to another episode of One Love on Africa. Today's episode, I wanted to get into something that the African Union, you know, the African Union, the, the African Union put together. It's the African Free Trade Area. By the way, check out my video on the African Union and why I think it's useless, to be honest. But in today's episode, we are talking about the African Free Trade Area. Um, When I heard about this news... I was really excited and I'll probably put in a clip like right now explaining what it is and then I'll come and share my thoughts. Trade between African countries took a very significant leap with the official commencement of the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement after. After an inception was aimed at creating the world's largest free trade area one that integrates 1.3 billion people across 54 countries with the objective of tapping into a combined GDP of over $3 trillion. But here we are, over one year after the launch of the initiative. There is the feeling that the after has been one large question mark so far. Why has it not created the promised trade empire? It is first important to note that Africans are well-versed in regional trade and had for centuries operated regulated trade networks that covered vast inland distances. But somehow, the interference of colonial forces reshaped African trade to fit European industrial input requirements. This and poor post-independence leadership has resulted in structural defects of African trade such that have prevented meaningful trade integration from taking place. Trade between African countries has also been met by historic challenges such as closed borders or excessive border bureaucracy, bizarre import substitution policies, political disagreements and occasional scuffles between foreign entrepreneurs and law enforcement. As promising as AFTA is, significant hurdles exist that may stymie the entire continent's economic development, one of which is the unresolved confusion of building a single continental market within which several dysfunctional regional markets already compete. This is evident in the unwillingness of many African countries to ratify all the articles of the agreement and the never-ending negotiations on the rules of origin, which is the intersection between trade and possible trade policy. The existing regional trade agreements are exclusive and differ widely from trade agreements elsewhere on the continent. Another reason why AFTA is struggling is the abysmal infrastructure that slows down the movement of any goods that need to be delivered the across the border. area was an agreement between so many African Union nations coming together and agreeing, hey, let's trade between African nations. You are my brother. I am your sister. We are together, right? So basically, these countries came together and signed these documents. Woo, woo, yeah, yeah. They took a bunch of pictures. Yeah, so I was, as an African youth, you know, very excited for the job opportunities and everything just to work, you know. Finally, pan-Africanism, let's work together to build these economies of ours. So when I heard about this news, I was... um, I was really excited. I was like, yes, yes, our countries coming together and working together and accomplishing together, right? Together, together, right? But it seems like things are not really meshing, it seems like. And I will insert the clip here now. (laughs) Yeah, everything is just going how do i say slow slow i thought okay people have signed the stuff things are gonna be you know working good but it seems like things are just going super slow delays and stuff countries are not really doing what they're supposed to be doing like in theory everything would be going you know well you know these countries will be working together business will be high everything but it seems like we have signed the documents but things are still not clicking and it seems like again it's just 
it, it's the efforts. Are we taking the efforts to make this happen? You, as the African Union, what are you doing <laughs> to encourage these countries to actually make this thing happen? Because yes, we can sign the papers and the long contracts and the long documents, but is this really happening? Are people able to trade? Are our borders more able to, you know, if I have a business here in Congo and I'm trying to get myself to South Africa, is it easy enough for these transport routes? Like, what are you, what are the measures that you are taking as the African Union to make this agreement alive? We talk about 2030, we talk about 2045, all of these plans, but you, as the African Union, like, you, you give us these promises, 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 but it seems like things are not coming together. Things are not coming together. And it's like, now, now you are telling us the youth to trust in you, African Union. What is going on? What is going on? What is truly going on, African Union? Like I really wanted this to work. You know, I as an African youth, you have hopes and dreams for for Mama Africa, and these are the things that you want to hear about. Yeah, it's an agreement, free trade area, all our countries coming together and saying, yeah, let's do it, let's trade, let's be friends instead of enemies, because our enemy is the white man and the Chinese. That's that's our enemy, right? So, yes, I'm disappointed that things are not going the way that I expected. I'm disappointed things are so slow. And this will, and this is what we have seen with the African Union. Like, the African Union is it just... Just, it's, it's, it's just so slow. So slow with things. And it's just like, dude, you should be more powerful. We're talking about the African Union, 55, 56 countries. You should be the head girl, the one that is making everyone come together, work together. But it seems like you are the weakest link. Do you know what I'm saying? It seems like the African Union is the weakest link. Huh? No, but honestly, I'm always disappointed in the African Union. I just wish things were better. And these was <laughs> and this agreement was one of the things that I was really really interested in and I was really really hopeful and very motivated to like talk about it share my thoughts about it because I just I saw the possibility of it and again if we want to grow our economies we need to trade with each other and this agreement was one of the things that I was really really hopeful for especially young business owners African young business owners who need to trade their products to grow their products to get more income and all of these things we talk about making millionaires in africa and you know <laughs> we have a lot of young 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 business owners young smes who are just creating business again but <laughs> instead of these businesses struggling we need to create opportunities for them so again these things are to help and create opportunities and i feel like the african union did not put enough force and power into this agreement to make everything like go smoothly and obviously I know I know it's gonna take a while for everything to come together and to work together but honestly we need to do better we need to do better because it seems like we are just not handling it correctly and again African Union African Union I need you to handle things better to make these countries and leaders come together and work these issues out, all of these issues that we're talking about, make them work it out. And again, we need to look our, at our border systems, all of these things to figure out how to make it easier for people to trade goods. African borders are honestly the worst borders to be stuck at because everything is going against you. Everything is going against you. You have border people who are asking for corruption, you know, because again, poverty and all of these things. But then it's also just like, it's not fast. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the countries that it is fast and easy. And you can just like, <clears throat> ID, bye. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I just hope it gets better and we, we make it better. Because honestly, these are the things that are going to save our economy, save our people. Because we have seen, once we invest in ourselves 
and Mama Africa, we grow. So we just need to take care of each other and work together to fix these issues because I honestly think this agreement is a really, really great thing. And if we don't put our minds and souls into this agreement, things are never going to change. Honestly, we export, 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 import, import, import. And it's like, God dang. Why are we not trading with each other? Like, local stuff made in Kenya, I cannot find it in Congo. Why is that? Like, all these juices that are made in Ghana, like, I want these juices to be traded between our nations. Like, goods, shoes, blah, 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 that are made in different African countries should be found in different African countries, too. Like, you talk about made in China, made in China. I don't care about that. Like, why is it made in Africa? Never a thing. Shout out to the manufacturing companies manufacturing factories out there that are changing that because made in africa is the next big thing like we need to start manufacturing check out my video on that <laughs> like i hate how much we import so many things are so expensive because we import like i'm talking about peanut butter i'm talking about hair care like we import all of these things and we have natural oils <laughs> Like, it's just, everything is so complicated, honestly. But I want to hear your thoughts. Um, What do you think? I honestly just, I want the African Union to do better. And I already have a video on the African Union yelling and screaming at them. So, let's just do better. For Mama Africa, yeah, check out my previous video where I talk about African people just waking up, honestly. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.